All right, good afternoon, Heartlings. We are here back with some more Pokemon Legends Arceus, so might as well get started up. All right, yes, we are back. I I have been itching to play this since la yesterday, so I'm happy that we can at least spend a couple hours playing this today. See how far we progress, and I go from there. So I guess we'll head off to this section here. Um. <clears throat> Alright, training grounds. Thanks for taking a minute for me. I know your plate's full right now. Right, I have to battle him. I'm going to be straightforward with you about something. And that is... I don't understand how anyone can handle taking on Pokemon in battle. I know I'm a Survey Corps member, and I even got my own partner, but I just can't do it. Your partner? That's right, take a look at my very own partner. They got- They actually didn't use the Poke- They actually didn't use the voice actor for Pikachu! That's a surprise! This is my Pikachu. During the sh that Shinx attack, I should have had Pikachu fight at my side, but my mind just went blank. And and really, when you get down to it, Pokemon are terrifying, right? Why should this thing be able to fr fry electricity? They're not terrifying, they're adorable. Baka. But watching you at work completing those resource tasks convinced me. If I want to do my survey corpse work well, my partner and I got to be a team. And our first step towards being a real team is to battle your team. All right, Survey Corps challenge Ray challenges you to a battle. Go. Pikachu. <coughs> Okay. <clears throat> oh! Interesting! I'm not used to the Pokemon getting to attack twice in a row! You seem so in sync with your Pokemon. Ooh, move mastered. Let me guess. Quick attack. That was amazing. The way you fought alongside your Pokemon, you don't seem scared. Don't seem one bit scared of battling. Probably because I come from a time where I'm used to this. Well, just have to catch up as best we can, right, Pikachu? Baga. Ah, uh, fair enough. Pikachu's got a bit of a tendency to attack, you see. That's why he normally stays in his ball. I guess the first step for Pikachu and me might be getting a little friendlier with one another. Oh, by the way, the professor calls Pokemon have... The, by the way, the professor says Pokemon have these things called types, which apparently make a big difference in how battles go. Pikachu here seems to be an electric type, for example. Okay. <clears throat> so you're the one, the new recruit everyone's talking about. The name's Zitsu, captain of the security corps. I see you've got some fight in you. Figured I'd stop by and give what advice I could. Captain Zitsu is a master of the, an ancient martial art where you guide Pokemon in battle. Now listen, if your Pokemon's truly mastered its moves, it can actually use them in different styles. 
On the one hand, you could choose to deliver a move in the strong style. Ah, that's why. Okay. The move will deal more damage, but afterward, it'll take longer for your Pokemon to act. On the other hand, you could choose to unleash a move called the Agile Style. Such a move will have less power behind it, but your Pokemon can act more quickly afterwards. In truly favorable conditions, it might even get out two moves before the opponent can act. Strong style moves, agile style moves, and of course regular moves. Choose which which is right for a given situation, and direct your Pokemon with a little nudge. Okay. I think it was explained when they first mentioned these games. Uses more PP than usual. Uses more PP than usual. Okay, that's good to know. Oh, one more thing. If you want to teach your Pokemon some powerful moves, just let me know. Well, that's certainly handy to find out about before attacking, before going to tackle May's, May's request. You remember I mentioned it earlier. I'm heading down now to see you about May's quest. I suppose to meet her down past the foot of Aspiration Hill. You should come along too. Get ready, then meet us down there, would you? And by ready, I mean double check what Pokemon you'll bring, and maybe even teaching them some new moves from Zitsu. <coughs> Ugh. Sorry, I had a coughing fit like right before I started stream and my throat's not recovering from that because I swallowed I swallowed wrong All right, hello there survey corpse recruit. Did you need something for me? I want to learn a new move. Which of your darling Pokemon do you want me to tutor? Cyndaquil select Says when can Cyndaquil learn Ariel? <laughs> Okay, interesting. Ooh. <gasps> Ooh. Um. Definitely would like Thunderfang. Ice move would be nice too. Yeah! That's actually kind of cool. So you're the new recruit from the survey corpse. Don't slack off on making that Pokedex of yours. Shrine Guardian, watch over us. Lucilius. Luc Lucel? Lucel? Sells various protective charms that would come in handy when you're out exploring the wilds. I'm here to give thanks to the guardian of the shrine who watches over all of Jubilife's village. And you, child, if you're here with a prayer for the shrine, perhaps my charms can help. Tell me, what is your wish? Stay in good health. Oh, I have just the charm for that, my dear. It's yours for 500 poke dollars. How does that sound? I'll take it. This charm is imbued with the mysterious powers of the Shrine Guardian. May it serve you well. Warding Charm R. Mysterious charm that holds the power to protect a person from being afflicted with status conditions. This type of charm comes in five different colors. Do you have any other wishes? No wishes for me. Come again, should you ever wish for another charm. May the Shrine Guardian watch over you. Okay, cool. Here at the trading post, you can exchange merit points for items and trade Pokemon with others. Good of you to stop by. What is it you need? Oh, interesting. Linking cord, it's loved by a certain Pokemon. Interesting. Very interesting, I will say that. Uh, no. Uh, should probably craft some stuff. Let's see what I could craft. Uh, do not have enough materials. How are we looking? 20. 
eight. We'll craft six of those. And craft those. Okay. Stop crouching, thank you. They say hunger is best seasoning, but I'd say I rather rely on the quality of my set foot roots to make my potato mochi taste tasty. I wouldn't mind trying potato mochi. See something you want, it's yours for a price. If not here, by all means, craft it yourself. Oh, yes, I would like a... Uh... Let's grab two of those. Cake lure base. Please let me see Starly's. Yeah, okay, we got a complete Starly. I already got my hair cut. A special parcel has arrived with your name on it. Oh! Modern jacket, a pair of modern trousers, and a mo pair of modern shoes. What a precious gift. Please take care of uh, such fine attire. Wait, what? Sh <gasps> shaman fancy kimono and shaman fancy bottoms. Okay. I just want to see what you have for sale, lady. Oh my god. I have a P AV Festival mask. Oh god, I have to wear that. There we go. I want to buy clothing. I want to see what we got. No. no. I want to actually see what it looks like. There we go. Okay. Sapphire, tangerine, indigo, amethyst, blue spruce. Okay. Eh. Eh. Ooh. I can wear a karate gi? Oh, that is cool. Okay. Oh, I can wear glasses. Okay. Yeah. Okay, interesting. Give the survey corpse your all, you hear? After all, we got we've no food for freeloaders. Okay. Um That's the portrait. All right, little munchkins. Folks come here from come here to Hisui cuz there's no place for them back home. Wow, you got Pokémon? I am going to change up the team that I have. I do want to do that before we leave. <laughs> All right. Do you have some Pokémon you like to leave here with me? Okay. So we don't need this many Badoofs. I like Badoofs, but we don't need this many. So, let's see. Okay, we're gonna get... Move. Here. Uh, let's see. Two, three. Okay, obviously I will do... You move there, and then move there. Okay, perfect. Oh, oh, look at them! You can actually see them. Oh, that's cool. I have been wanting that for like any of the Pokemon daycares. I know that's not what this is, but I've been wanting that for the Pokemon daycares for years. Oh, that's so cool. <coughs> I'm so bored. I wish something would happen. 
If there's a place you're hoping to visit, you ought to stretch out your map. Okay. You survey corpse slot are amazing. I mean, you catch all these strong Pokemon like it's nothing. Or strange. Oh, you're from the survey corpse. Well then, can you tell me how Pokemon make themselves so tiny? Magic. You young sprouts can't hand hold a candle to me, but I'll leave you leave the surveys to you, Missy. Everyone has problems and worries of their own. You should lend an ear to the people you meet. Well, I'm trying to, but no one wants to say anything. Can I go in? You're going to survey Pokemon, huh? Going out to find all the ways they're terrifying? I was gonna... I want to pick up some quests, that's all. Passed your trial, have you? I'm impressed you can approach Pokemon. I just turn and run from those scary beasts. Can I, can I leave? Thank you. <laughs> oh, hi. Hello there, new survey corpse recruit. Please count, please to count you as a teammate. Okay, I don't think anyone else has any requests for me. Hmm. We'll go on the other side. Rather impressive that you can get so close to Pokemon while they're firing attacks at you. Oh, I bet you're skilled at dodging. I haven't had a dodge yet. Surprisingly. It's tough picking berries out in the wild, so I'm hoping we can grow them here instead. Here in the village fields, you can have crops grow for you for exchange for a fee. Sounds good to me. Cool. Gotta expand the... Span the these here fields to help feed all the new folks coming to the village. Oh, that's kind of cool. You know, we had people back in Kanto who were able to take Pokemon. They knew what they were doing in battles, too. Kanto! Oh! Oh, God. Imagine if, like, if this game does well enough. Like, Kanto. Oh, they, there is a lot they could do with the series if, if this game goes off well enough. I personally hope so, because I'm really enjoying it so far. You're the new survey's corpse recruit, are you? Well, good luck with it all. I'm new to the village myself. I tried to talk to... Yep, yeah, okay. Alright, let's go. Heading outside the village, are we? Stay safe out there, kid. Okay. Yes. Boo. <laughs> did I surprise you? I bet I did. I was trying to, anyway. There's a secret technique to catching Pokemon, you see. It's well, what I call the secret back strike technique. Hitting a Pokemon back, hit, hitting a Pokemon's back with your Pokeball will surprise it and make it easier to catch or giving you an advantage once the battle starts. Actually, I've been doing that. Cool. If you're part of the Survey Corps now, working to create that Pokedex as they are, all are, you might end up meeting ver every last Pokemon here in Hisui. You should know, I'm already looking forward to the day you accomplish that. And before that's Arceus. This whole time. Alright. Yes. 
cat. All right, let's go. Oh, you're that girl from the survey corps who fell from the sky, aren't you? Listen here a moment. I need to tell you about this great cake lure recipe I invented. I call it the mushroom cake. I poured 20 years of mushroom foraging know-how into coming up with this recipe, and I just know it's a winner. 20, 20 years? You, lo you don't look older than I do! Problem is, the folks around here just aren't catching on to my recipe's amazing potential. But you're the talk of the village. If people see you making my mushroom cakes, famous as you are, I'm sure they will want to give it a go, too. I'll teach you the recipe. All you have to do in return is spread the good word by using it. Oh, you'll need to go get the key ingredient for the recipe yourself. Scourge not from the forages of thy fellows, as the old saying goes. One springy mushroom's all you need. I'll be waiting. Okay. You never know what kinds of Pokemon you'll run into, so bringing, bring different kinds of Pokemon along. Our team... Okay, cool. Alright, let's go. Oh, I'm already completed. We can battle at least. Okay, um... Change moves. Here we go. <gasps> I can nickname you. Okay. Okay. I can nickname you. Okay, I did not register my moves. Okay. Yes, there we go. One, two, and ta-da! Perfect. Okay. Okay, we're good. Um, I'm... I can't nickname them! Okay, I'm changing the nicknames, because I already had a plan for at least, uh... The Cyndaquil, because this was, uh, what I named my Cyndaquil before. I wanted to name you Raph. Okay, we got Raph. Um, I haven't figured out any other nicknames for anybody. Okay. Favorite. Oh, okay. Cool. Okay. All right. Here we go. Okay. Um... I haven't evolved it, so I guess we can try defeating it. I smack you in the head. <laughs> We needed. Ooh, levels up. Nice. Okay. Hit the wrong button. Oh, 
Oh, okay. I'm hearing a shinx. Oh, okay. Smacked it in the beak. <laughs> there. Okay, perfect. Even though I really should switch out the team. Um... That works, okay. Okay. What do I need to do? I've seen... I've used bite, okay. Um, numbers of defeated should probably do that and then use bite. I think that'll work. Okay. Defeated. Let's see. Okay. Grab that. There are many strong Pokemon that make their home on the other side of the bridge. I can't let you pass unless you're a first. Oh, at your rank, you should be fine. Go on, then. Don't let your guard down now. Retreat to safety if you find yourself in trouble. Over here. She looks a lot like that one lady that you help out in uh, Diamond and Pearl. This here is Heart. My, my, a new face in the village. Not that I, it matters to me if you're new. If you're here, I assumed you're prepared to be, to be of help. Yeah, she looks a lot like, uh, um, the one lady that you go in the cave. Like, it's the very last cave. She's like the third person you team up with in the Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. I'm one of the wardens of the Diamond Clan. You may call me May. I suppose you might not even know what a warden is if you're new to Hisui. But such talk can wait. Right now, I'd rather we get straight to the point. I have a problem that I need help solving, so more the more important question is this. Do you feel confident that you can lead your Pokemon in battle? I do. That's good to hear. The security corpse of yours certainly wasn't up to the task. This here is my partner, Munchlax. We were raised together like siblings. He battles at m my side by choice without needing any silly little balls like you use. Watch and learn. Probably gonna faint to the next one, so. Oops! Meant to use the other one, but it's fine. Okay. Um.
Yes, I got a burn. Perfect. Oh, you have rollout. Interesting. Yes. All right. <clears throat> Unfortunately, Shinx did faint, but it's okay. Aww. You really aren't one of those usual galaxy buffoons if you could defeat my partner. Well thought, Munchlax. I'll take care of the Pokemon that battled for us. And I'll let you have these. Your people make all kinds of these of things with your crafting, don't you? This should prove to be useful materials. Vivi chokes! You and your Pokemon fought well together. You practically acted as one with them. Rather like the legendary hero of old. The one we told stories to of to our children. I think you're indeed the one for the job. You see, I need someone to deal with an alpha male, alpha pat Pokemon, causing trouble upon Deer Track Heights. It's a large, fearsome foe, like any alpha. But you'll come, won't you? To Deer Track Heights? Your arc phone is beeping. Is that strange thing thingamy, thingamy of yours telling you where to go? My, my. That is some curious sort of map. Is that the one of those galaxy team inventions I keep hearing about? It certainly does seem to show the way to the Deer Track Heights up ahead of us. I'll leave this bit to you. You shouldn't have any problem ha handling an alpha. Seems you are quite the asset to the sur sur survey corpse, new one. Though, before we continue, I must ask, do you already know about Almighty... Almighty Shino. Um, Almighty what now? I suppose that's be be expected. Allow me to sketch out the basics. Almighty Shino steers all time. It's said to have created the very universe using its power over time's flow, and this and this land of Hisui was born in the process. It's by the grace of I Almighty Shino that Pokemon can live and thrive here. We of Diamond Clan are descendants of the people who, of a people who crossed the sea and settled here in the Hisui region to verite Almighty Shino. However, it stole away from the world long ago, hiding itself from our sight. Al Almighty Shino is only rarely seen by any human if the old to tales are to be trusted. But there are still Pokemon here today in Hisui with a connection to Almighty Shino. And it is the duty of wardens like myself to attend to their needs. The Pokemon's that the Pokemon that graces T Deer Track Heights is one of those honored few. It is directly descended from a Pokemon that was blessed with an with Almighty Shino's protection. Follow me, and you may understand. Interesting. So they don't call it Arceus; they call it Shino. I th I'm a thinking, unless there's a new legendary. Got him. Okay. No, don't. I, I don't know why I keep hitting the roll button.
That's kind of cool, though, that I can do that without being seen. Or, well, I'm still sneaking. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. I'm curious about this tree, though. Why are you shaking? Oh! Yes, please! Okay, so if it's shaking, that means there could be something in that tree. Okay, cool! Oh, there. Mind helping a guy out? I'm after some cherry berries, you know. You know them? The shiny red ones? They grow on some of the trees around here, but I don't have any Pokemon that can reach them for me. That's where you come in, friend. Throw one of your Pokeballs at a berry tree, and your Pokemon will grab the berries for you. Be sure the Pokeball you throw has a Pokemon in it, mind you. Be, be ashamed to waste an empty ball. If you hand me three of the cherry berries you get, I, I'll tell you another handy tip. I have 13. I think we're fine. Sure, here you go. <clears throat> Thanks. Now then, here's the handy tip I was talking about. You could throw a berry near wild Pokemon to grab their attention and keep them distracted. Why not give it a try on some Cricketot around here? I do want that flower, but first... Damn it! I didn't do it on a Krikatot, but I did it on a Geodude!
Oh, yes, I can finally, uh, use Aqua Jet. Okay. Okay, wrong one. Yes! I like how I was just looking around, like, what's going on here? Alright, perfect. Get, yeah, get some levels. Okay. Grab this er medical leak. I think that's- yes! Black Tumblestone. Perfect. Smack! <laughs> I'm sorry! <laughs> it was right there! It was right there. I had to. Oh, the music changes at night. behind me? Interesting! when you're asleep. Answer me that. How do you look around when you're asleep? Okay. That's interesting. Despite being asleep, you can still use moves. Oh. Right. Right. I forgot.
Grew drowsy, okay. Damn it. That's very interesting, though. Okay, so Pokemon do... There's different Pokemon that do come out at night. Cool. That is cool. And it has different music. I like that. Oh, so even your professor decided to join us. What? Whew, thank goodness I got here in time. As a Pokemon researcher, I could hardly miss out on a chance to observe an alpha. Now could I? I suppose th that is your business. Fine. As long as you stay out of the way. This is Deer Track's height. Deer Track Heights. This is where I co long come pay to pay tribute to a special Pokemon. A Pokemon descended from one of those ancient blessing blessed one of those ancients blessed by Almighty Shino. Delilu Oh, I wonder what Pokemon it could be. That's not it. That's only a troublemaker, here to disturb the peace with its racket. They even made the cry even better! Oh my god, that cry! And that's what you're here for, Heart. To drive that interloper from this place. I'll ensure your Pokemon are ready for battle. Okay. Upon my word, what a large specimen. Little wonder alpha Pokemon are feared across the land if they all, all are as oversized as this one. Exactly. It's not only big, though. They are strong, and may know moves that others of their kind do not. They are not to be trifle for, trifle with, let me tell you. Nevertheless, I believe you are stronger still than this alpha, so go show it that, beyond any mistaking. Be careful, heart. Size is a potential weapon in and it's of itself. No doubt this alpha is a powerful and hardy foe. If you must face it, make sure your Pokemon have some strong moves at their disposal. Okay, Alpha are larger than others and may no moves. They appear very difficult to catch. I don't think I can catch them. Okay. First of all, switch. Change moves. Okay. Alright. Yes. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Okay. Oh yeah, um, before I forget. 
Save. Okay, press the Y button during battle to check the action of order all the Pokemon currently battling. This shows the order in which Pokemon will take their upcoming turns based on their action speed. The action speed of a Pokemon is based on its speed stat, but it also is affected... Okay. Oh, ow! One. Okay. I don't know if I would have been able to catch it, but you really are an impressive one, aren't you? Seeing someone best in alpha like that, it truly reminds me of an old le of the old legendary hero of old. We'd best make sure your Pokemon are taken care of after facing against such a foe. That works! Rare. What, what in the world? It's the deer! It's the great were deer! He looks upon you with kindness, heart. I won't pet him. I'd say the great Weirdeer has taken a liking to you. This is fortunate. He is an esteemed Pokemon that can dash across the expanses of Hisui while bearing a human on his back. A human he deems worthy, at least. He is a blessing to all of us. Remarkable, truly outstanding stuff. A Pokemon letting someone ride on it? Why, it's just like the ride of po the ride Pokemon of Alola. Professor, I take it thing Professor, I take it things went smoothly. I'm here on Captain Celine's orders. She said we'd be able to set up our base camp here once Hart took care of her request. Ah, uh, about that. I know this was a joint decision by a Adam and, and the commander, but still, is it truly fine for us to set up more base camps like this? The Hisui region is a land created by Almighty Shino for the sake of its Pokemon. As long as your goal is to coexist and thrive together with the Pokemon, then I imagine you should be allowed to use this land. The Great Weirdeer has taken a liking to Hard as well. This is a good sign. You have my thanks for what you did today. Our clan leader will hear of how you aided us. I'll come to show my appreciation with a proper reward as soon as I can. Oh, she's so cute. But yay, we did it. Well, if we are to coexist and thrive with Pokemon, we'll need to know them better. And the first steps towards that is completing the Pokedex. The construction corpse should be here soon. They'll have our new base camp pitch in no time. <laughs> you can hear him pitching it. Here we have it. Our new base camp upon Deer Track Heights, as I'll call it the Heights Camp. From now on, when you set out from the village, you can ask to be escorted to the, the, this base camp to start your excursions directly from here. Having more base camps ought to make our survey work easier, huh? Well, that's that. How about we head to the Wallflower like usual? Okay. 
Okay. Okay, you're completed. You're completed. Yes! Okay, perfect. Shinx is completed. Okay. <laughs> Almost. But yes! Okay. We can at least tell the lady we completed the Shinx. Or the Starly one. <sighs> Benny, old chum. The usual potato mochi, please. And make it for three today as well. Have you all heard the grave news? The frenzy Cal... Calaver from the rumors. It ended up mauling some of our galaxy folk who went out to investigate it this morning. The medical corpse has had a hard time getting all the injured back on their feet. Ah... Uh, this is the Claver that re was reportedly struck by a powerful lightning, yes? I did hear he's been behaving more, most erratically since then. Still, if further investigations in order, the Survey Corps will, of course, step up to the task. A certain amount of danger is inevitable when researching unfamiliar Pokémon, but I'm sure Hart can, here can handle things just fine. But that Claver is said to be much, much stronger than even an Alpha Pokémon, isn't he? Now, now, you forget that the strengths of Pokémon are key items of information that we of the Survey Corps are duty-bound to research. And such this, and since this perilous work of ours calls for a clear head and fighting fit physique, I do believe a good night's sleep is in order after this fine meal. That's not exactly what Ray said. <laughs> the next day. Come in. Rise and shine, heart. The boss wants you. Kamado, that is. Get yourself into the commander's office. Okay, but first I want to see what outfit I can... I want to see my outfits. You can't wear this cut with your hair styled this way. Okay. Oh, that's so cute. Okay. Okay, that's cute. <laughs> um. I'll wear that. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna stay in my current attire. But that that shaman outfit is so cute. I I definitely kind of want to wear that shaman outfit. Did you get a good night's rest? Look who's being punctual. Finally realized you're wasting almighty Shino's pres present time by bowing to a sham. Oh boy. There you go again, insisting on your false image of almighty Shino as a ruler of time. My people follow the true almighty Shino, the, front, the fount of all creation and ruler of space. <laughs> you could have all the space there is and still not know what to do with it. Excuse me, are you really suggesting that you make a better use of your time than we make of vast Hisu's space? Better than some. It's a miracle you showed up on time, oh almighty leader of the Pearl Clan. I'd worried you get lost in that pointless vast space you're so fond of and never show up. Me? Get lost? An almighty Shino's great gift to the Pearl Clan? In our world's very basis? You wish? I love her hairstyle. It's so cute. I'd wish I hadn't let myself get dragged into arguing with you. Almighty Shino, forgive me. What a waste of time. I'm off to Commander Cam Kamado's office. I believe it was you who started this. 
They're going to have to end up working together. Just another day with those two, I see. The man's name is Ad Adaman. He's the leader of the Diamond Clan. They put a lot of importance on time, as you could tell. And the girl is Arita, leader of the Pearl Clan. They're all about space. You heard what she called it, right? Our world's very basis. Whenever they run into each other, those argu same arguments flare up. Seems like they've inherited some bad blood from their predecessor's strife. Well, well, not our problem. But you all, you'll have problems if you don't get yourself to the commander's office, Hart. Well, then stop talking to me and let me go. But first... Oh, you have completed Starly's entry in your Pokedex? Hurry, let me read it. Oh, wait a wait one moment. Male and female Starlies have different appearances? Let me see. So the markings on their forehead are different sizes. Incredible. I had no idea. Thank you for letting me read its Pokedex entry. Now that I know more about it, I imagine I might finally bring myself to touch a Starly. Please, if you can find it in your heart, catch a Starly and bring it to me. There's not a Pokemon in the world so adorable as Starling, I'll tell you. Will you show me a Starly? I don't know if she wants to keep it, so. The smooth curl of the feather on its head. Those lovely round eyes. Oh, it's lovely through and through. I adore it down to the last feather. Well, hello there, Starly. Wanna pet it? No! <laughs> I, I think I'm quite satisfied just looking at it after all. Besides, it might lose a move. Who outside of Survey Corps or Security Corps could actually do something so frightful as a willing as approach a Pokemon willingly? All the same, I must thank you for showing me the sweet Starly. Some people will see a Pokemon as simply flee on sight, you know. Perhaps being able to read all about Pokemon in that Pokedex might put them more at ease. Alright, let's go. Again, I still think his uh, Wurmple's gonna evolve into a Dust Tox. Which I think will be funny. Alright. Some requests. Okay. We'll, we'll worry about that later. Let's go talk to the... Oh, that's cute. Hi guys. <coughs> oh, I didn't pop mute it. I'm sorry, guys. I thought I muted it. Oh. All right, let's do this first, and then we'll. Oh boy. What do you intend to do about the that clever, clever commander Kamado? He may be descended from a war warrior of almighty Shino, but look at the mess he's causing. We can't sit back and let him rage on. You do get right to the point, Adaman. Time wasted is lost. Well, tell me, what would you have us do? Clever is a precious lord of the Pearl Clan. Is he not? That's the point. My clan can't intervene directly where a lord of the Pearl Clan's concerned. If my people were to do something, our clans, our two clans might end up back at each other's throats. Just like we used to be. But even folk of the t galaxy team has been wounded, haven't they? Seems someone's got to do something here. Who then? Would the Diamond Clan have the Pearl Clan bring down one of its own honorable nobles? I don't believe I said that. Thought it, maybe. You might as well have said it, you fool. Look, we don't even know what drove Lord Clavor into such a violent frenzy. I like to know that myself. This is a first, as far as my clan knows, too. Hmm, I see you've arrived. This is Hart, the newest member of our survey corps. Aha, uh -huh. I heard from May you earned Wide Ear's favor. Good to finally meet you, stranger from the rift. 
I am Adamin, leader of the Diamond Clan, if you want to be formal. But that's a mouthful. Just call me Adamin. <clears throat> if you come from beyond the space-time rift, could you be from the space where Almighty Shino is said to reside? I'm Irida, leader of the Pearl Clan. Caution and foresight are my watchwords. Which is why I have trouble believing such a tale. Could you have really passed through that rift? I have a proposition. Why not send this one to study Clever Cleaver before deciding what must be done? You send this stranger who supposedly fell from the rift to study Cleaver. This newcomer with no experience. Says the leader with almost no experience. Being a good leader isn't a matter of time. It's a matter of embracing Hisu's, Hisui's vastness without fear. Well then, there you have it. If n how new you are doesn't matter, then give the kid her chance. I'm sold, Commander. Let's try it. Try this your way. This should be fun. I'll get to see how good you galaxy folk, oh, galaxy folk really are with all your weird ways, putting Pokemon in those strange balls and what have you. That whole practice bothers me. Almighty Shino made Hisu vast so Pokemon could live freely throughout. We're meant to stand alongside Pokemon, not count ourselves above them. We do not use Pokeballs from a desire to control our Pokemon, only so that we can live together. Allow us to show you what we can do. This is your mission now, Heart. I order you to study Claver and find and help us find the truth of this situation. Except. Remember that you are a stranger who appeared one day out of the sky, very sky above us. People are naturally suspicious of your presence here. If you wish to fu be fully accepted and trusted, you must work hard. Work yourself to the very bone. All right. Well, that's settled. And there's no time like the present. The Lord of the Woods, Claver, is descended from a Pokemon that was blessed with Almighty Shino's own power. No other Pokemon you've encountered have compared to his strength. Be warned. I don't think that's the voice I gave her, but whatever. Listen to me. The Galaxy Expedition Team has come to Hisu region as a group of outsiders. Some might even call us interlopers. We mustn't do anything to threaten our relationships with the Pearl and Diamond and Pearl clans, understand? Just join me downstairs, Heart. We'll cover the details of this new mission. Okay, so down we go. Except we're gonna go collect these uh, quests that are around. Oh, splendid. You came along at a good time. I'm looking for a prick pickling stone, you see. Would you mind lending me a hand? It seems to be the right size to fit upon one of my pickle pots, and heavy enough to put a nice, firm pressure on the pickles while they're fermenting. Hmm, I suppose it'd be hard for me to lift such a heavy thing from the pot. The best thing would be for the stone to lift itself, actually. Oh, I have a rather good idea. There's a Pokemon called Geodude that lives on Deer Track Heights. It would be perfect for the job. Could you catch one and bring it to me? I'll head home. No, don't head home, I have... Geodude. Uh, I had the Geodude. Why did you have to leave? Right. Seems a band of bothersome Badoof keeps sneaking into the village and causing trouble. Talk to Sumugi from the security corps and see if you can help set things in order. There are no other requests. Okay. That's cute. Ah, oh, good. You're already here. Professor Leventon, the briefing, if you please. Yes, let's get right to it. So, Hart, I understand you have been requested to find out the cause of Cle Cleaver's frenzied state. But as you are aware by now, Cleaver is a mighty thing. Nigh, invincible, even. 
The security corps tried throwing pokeballs at Cleaver when they were attacked, but I'm afraid they didn't even come close to catching him. It seems he's a fair trickier opponent than even those aggressive species of Pokemon that cannot be caught outside of battle once they're riled. I'd like to be perfectly clear on this point. The mission will, will put you in extreme danger. Do you believe you can handle it? Very well. Then let us go over the particulars. The Diamond and Pearl clans revere their nobles because they believe these Pokemon serve their almighty Sinnoh. They leave offerings to express their gratitude to these Pokemon in locations they call the Noble Seats. So perhaps a good starting point of our research could be to find out what sorts of offerings they normally leave for this Cleaver. Hart, we need to speak with you. Listen, that rift in the space-time seems like it's connected this world to another other world. The world might be where Almighty Sinnoh itself resides. The true Almighty Sinnoh, that is. The one that rules over time. So if you fell through the space-time rift, that means... That might mean you traveled through time. By Almighty Sinnoh's own power. Think of it, you must be swimming... Just swimming in its divine might. Well, I got a favor to ask of you, oh amazing time traveler. Don't just study clever... Cleavers. Quell his frenzy. Well, you certainly caught us at a good time, young Adamin. We were just discussing our next steps with regard to this whole clever situation. Oh-ho! You must be the galaxy's team scholar I've heard about. Good to meet you, Mr. Professor. Share some of that knowledge with me sometime. Now, let me elaborate a little. Those Pearl Clan types have a lot of respect for Claver. You heard his title, Lord of the Woods. I'm sure they rather get this under control, too, but it's hard for them to come out right out and ask those those of the galaxy team of all people for help and the truth is we are we in the diamond clam have a similar problem on our hands a pokemon dear to us off in the woods has flown into a same type of frenzy as claver now there's certainly bad blood between us and the pearl clam but still we all got to share we're, we've all got to share history and that means we ought to tackle our problems together but there aren't many capable of standing up to such powerful Pokemon. You're the best hope we've got. Well, you'll find Claver at Grand Tree Arena. It's in the very heart of the Heartwood. <laughs> His warden is a boy named Lian. Lian is a brilliant child, but also a bit... Well, sometimes brilliance can be blinding, you know. He'll tell you all about his beloved Claver, or whether you wish him to or not. Anyway, I'm sure you're up to the challenge, so we'll be counting on you. See you later. Well, he just said his piece and then vanish. He must just value his time that much, I guess. Adam and May weren't wrong, you know. If you're to study and perhaps even quell Claver, you'd best start by visiting his abode. Now that you got the Heights camp... It should be, come in handy for getting to Grand Tree Arena. And don't forget to visit the pastures. Choosing your Pokemon team carefully makes a difference. Alright. <clears throat> Finding yourself unable to pick up the materials you come across? Satchel always seem full? If that sounds like you... It'd be wise to lend me an ear a moment and hear what I have to say. Oh, okay. Random. You can carry even more in a, the satchel of yours if you learn the trick of packing things in. I could teach you if you like. What do you say? Sure. I like your into. In it, it, it. My teaching fee is an 800. Okay. One. Uh. <sighs> the fact that you don't do a little dance upsets me. You should be able. You should do a little dance when you do it. <laughs> All right. Um. Aha! Huh. 
You there. You seem to like someone who enjoys a bit of crafting. Do you think you could help me out with something? I'd be very, very grateful if you try to craft something using a special recipe I came up with. So without further ado, here's the recipe. Pokeshi dolls. This is a recipe for what I call poke, named Pokeshi dolls. I invented them, you see, as a special item that we could, could make in this village. I would love to have you craft one and show it to me. I'm looking forward to seeing what you come up with. Okay. Um... Okay, looks like I got some more requests, so let's go ter deal with those. Look at those crops! Alright. Listen here, survey corpse kid. I saw the darndest thing. I was scourging the heartwood for crops we could grow in the field here, fields here when I saw it. The Pokemon called Cherum changed its appearance before my very eyes. It was in the evening. The lights were getting dim. All of a sudden, Cherum's petals closed right up so it looked like nothing like but a little bud fl flower bud. Wow, I thought. I just witnessed the miracle of evolution. But the next morning when I went to check in on the Cherum, it was right back to full bloom. But why would it bloom just to close back up? Is that how evolution works? Or is the change I saw something different? When you finish Cherim's Pokedex entry, just let me have a look, would ya? Okay. Um... Are you the lady that wants the Geodude? You spot a berry tree. Have your Pokemon... Okay, I know that. Where's the lady with the... the that wants the Geodude? She said she was in her house. Hey, found her! Oh my, would you look at that? It really does look like a rock, and it seems to be the ideal weight, too. Oh, it's simply perfect. Thank you, young lady. With this Geodude's help, I'll surely make some scrumptious pickles. Dude... <laughs> We got some XP candy. A honey cake? Dude. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That's funny. Alright, so that one's taken care of. Let's go. Um. New request. Okay. Nope. Let's go this way. Can Pokemon of different of the same species really come in different sizes? I know the professor said they do, but I'll have a hard time believing it unless I see a different sized one lined up side by side. If there really are weasels bigger than mine, I would love to see them alongside the one I have for comparison's sake. And you're a natural when it comes to catching Pokemon, right? I bet you've seen where I'm going with this. If you catch a big weasel bigger than mine, would you let me have it? I'll make it worth your wild. Oh. I do. Okay. Go 
good gravy. I never expected you to bring one so quickly. I'm afraid I'm looking for a bigger one, though. It has to be at least two... Th okay, so not that one. Check summary. 2 1. Oh, okay. <sighs> that sucks, but. Thank you. Look at them side by side. It's almost like the big one is the little one's older sibling. Look how they tip. How the tip of one's snout points up when it looks at us. What a precious little thing. And the big one's flo flotation sack. There's something reassuring about how big it is, large it is, don't you think? Funny how Pokemon of the same species can seem so different depending on which one's bigger. Keep an eye on Pokemon sizes when you're catching them. Might spice up your excursions. Thank you for the favor. I know you Survey Corps folks' work is no joke, so keep at it. I'll be rooting for you. Well, now I gotta go put another weasel on my team. Seriously. I'm- I'm giving grief. I'm giving grief. Okay, buddy, what do you want? Alright, if Pokemon starts eyeing me, I'll fling an Orenberry, then run while it's distracted. If I just stick to the plan, I'll be fine. Oh, Survey Corpse Girl! I was just out he headed I was just headed out to the field lands to gather some tumble stones, but I haven't got as many Orenberries as I like. Are you familiar with Orenberries? They restore some HP to Pokemon that eat them, so you might imagine Pokemon tend to be very interested in them. You see where I'm going with this. Throwing Orenberries is a great way to distract and avoid wild Pokemon. They're indispensable. With that in mind, could I trouble you to gather five Orenberries for me? I feel a lot better having more Orenberries. Would you be able to give me just five? Hand over five Orenberries. I greatly appreciate- I great gratefully accept. Gosh, I can't believe you went to the trouble of finding these just for me. Happy to help. Thank you. Gosh, you're s nice for someone who fell out of the sky. Let's just tuck these away in my satchel. I won't let your kindness go to waste. Wish me luck for with those tumble stones. Ooh, revives. Okay. How are things, my good friend? I certainly hope you're putting that secret back strike technique I taught you to good use. Either way, I have some super potions here just for you. Oh, think nothing of it. Having the Survey Corps out and about studying Pokemon is great for business, you know. Supporting you now is actually an investment in my own fortunes. And now I must depart. There, there are ruins that are just calling to me. Okay. Heading outside the village, are we? Stay safe out there, kid. Okay. I wanted to go out, yes. Heights cat. Oop. I hear there are Pokemon you can only spot at night. Sometimes they'll just appear quietly with no warning. Pretty creepy if you ask me. Continue. But, but. 
Shut up, phone. Hmm. All right, I got a text message. Give me a sec. Okay. All right. Nothing. Nothing too major. So. Okay. Wait, what? I hear a geodude. Okay, I'm sorry, but that looks cool. Um... I don't know what she was- ah! That's why I heard it, Geodude. Okay. I'd like to catch another one of you, so... Okay. Smack! <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh! Okay, good to know. You take fall damage. Oh, there's an Abra! Alright, let's craft. I don't have any wood. Damn it. Where'd you go? Okay. Wait for it. Okay.
it go? Damn it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, my Pokemon are fainting. I'll be able to get deal with it. Uh, reviving our Pokemon can evolve. Okay, cool. Uh, okay. Oopsies. I didn't realize I was level 32. Otherwise, I wouldn't have done that. Uh, let's revive our Pokemon. I got really lucky though. Okay. Think I went the wrong way. Music's so nice. Okay, um I wanna get back up there, so let's head back this way. Okay, maybe I have an invisible stamina bar? Okay, on the tumble. Okay, here we go. I got an Abra! Alright, um... Caught... Caught, defeated. Times you've seen it, use teleport. Okay. Really pretty. Okay, 
These guys will run from me. So I'm not too worried about that. Study it. Okay. Bidoof, Starlies. Says Iron Chunk. Wrong way. Okay. Let's go in our satchel for a sec. Um, I'll discard that for now. Okay. Alright, Bidoofs. I'm not too worried about. They're very friendly. There is a barrel though. That's not what I wanted to do at all. Sorry. Alright. Ho! <laughs> Wish I could actually study you. Terrifying. Okay, level 16. We're not too bad. Alright. Ah, oh, damn it. not do is oh you know I see win what 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 but do beat its older brother I'm sorry, but that's kind of funny. Okay. Alright, let's get back up here. Hopefully I can get up here. Eh, eh. Nope. Continue down here then. There we go. <gasps> a Baneri! And a Psyduck!
know if you saw me. Okay, you're gone. Okay. Mm, okay. Oh, it does talks. Cool. There's Wormpole. Alright, you're... We're gonna go over this way. Smack right back in the head! Yeah, I got a Baneri! this way? Yes, okay. Cascoon or Silcoon? Oh, a Scyther, okay. Let's, instead of making this too difficult, let's go over here. There we go! Okay. Hi, buddy! I am Leon of the Pearl Clan, the warden to Clever, Lord of the... Lord of the Woods. And you... I've already deduced that you are coming here to meet Cal... Caliver... Cleaver. I'm right, aren't I? Of course I am. I can see her so clearly. After all, the powerful awesome Cleaver has become even more awesomely powerful. Perhaps that strange lightning the other day was Almighty Shino's divine power, but whatever it is, it struck my lord and left him imbued with awesome might. So I must turn you away, even if it pains me. It's too dangerous for you to meet Cleaver right now. I'll do anything. Oh, such earnest desire to meet Mighty Clever. I have to admit, I'm struck by your passion. But, well, I'm afraid your passion is not the real issue here. I've been told in no certain terms by Irida that I'm not... I am to let no one near Clever. I'll fight you off myself if you insist. If you wish to avoid battle, with no withdraw now, while you still can, or face the wrath of my Gumi. I'll take you on. You don't even realize I'm turning you away for your own safety. How sad you are. S go, Gumi, and see if you can ooze some good sense over this foolish troublemaker. I need to heal. So we're gonna use you to heal, unfortunately. Okay, uh... Revive. Use on Shinx. Acid spray. Okay. It's fine. Um Okay. Swap. Boom. I knew it'd be a good idea to teach uh, Shinx the uh, an ice type. Oh, he looks so Leon looks so sad. How, how can this be? I must. I may have been defeated, but my point still stands. It's too dangerous to meet Claver now. 
Well, you're only welcome if you are able to approach him and it, it, the only welcome you'll get is if you approach him is a flurry of devastating blows. Normally, I'd, I'd simply try to make him an offering. A nice heap of helping of his two favorite foods served up with respect by his loyal warden. That's me, of course, is usually enough to please him and soothe the prickliest of moods. But even I, Cleaver's loyal warden, can't get close enough to give any offerings now. Not with the way Cleaver is rampaging and running amok. There's nothing that an outsider like you can do. Ancestors of Cleaver, Wary Deer, and their cohorts drew on Almighty Shino's own power to protect Pokemon and people alike. So it said. It's by their grace that our clan, that any of us, still lives in the vast Hisui today. Irida, what are you doing here? As you say, Cleaver's grown str even stronger, but I'm afraid the strength possesses a problem for us. If he was indeed struck by that lightning, could that the bolts have been sent by the false Sinnoh that the Diamond Cloud, bow Diamond Cloud bows to? Cleaver means so much to our clan. I'd hope we could bring the situation under control ourselves, not throw our hands up and ask some outsider for help. But we must save Cleaver from this frenzy. Every moment it continues, the danger grows. If more people in Pokemon are attacked, it will lead to conflict with both the Diamond Clan and the Galaxy team. You, stranger from beyond the sky, tell me, could you Galaxy people actually fix all this? Could an outsider actually find a way to quell our Lord's frenzy? I'll figure something out. Very well. Lian and I will gather foods that please Cleaver, in hopes that we might be able to get close enough to make him a proper offering. As for you, find a way to quell his frenzy, even if you m must search every corner of vast is Hisui. I really like her haircut. I want that haircut. Your arc phone is beeping. A mysterious power now enables you to return to base camps in an instant. Cool! Well, we're gonna do that. Okay, um... Let's go here. No, not ping. Stop pinging! Yes! There! I figured it out! Fast travel! Good to see you, Heart. And how is your research onto Cleaver going? Swimmingly, I expect. Oh, is that so? Now that's quite the tidbit. So a serving of his favorite foods will normally make Cleaver quite agreeable, is that it? I need to mull this over back at the laboratory. You should come along too, dear girl. That's not what I want to do. I wanted to get my research dealt with. Okay. Uh, I need to find a cherum. So according to the information, you were able to learn from Irida and Leon of the Pearl Clan. Were, th were this normal course of events that Frenzy Cleaver would be... Were this normal course of events that the Frenzy Cleaver would been be calmed by a nice serving of his two favorite foods? I do wonder... Is it possible the aromas or some other components of these foods might combine in a way that could not only calm Cleaver, but draw him back from this frenzy? But by your own report, even Cleaver's warden, who looks after Cleaver and knows him well, cannot approach him in this current state. This would be a, it would be a fool's gambit to get close enough to offer him food. <sighs> Give me a moment, if you would. I need some time to ponder on this. There ought to be something in my research notes that can help us. <laughs> I 
Wait for it. Where's the Eureka? Told you. Knew there was gonna be Eureka. I, I called it Eureka. <laughs> we'll simply have to throw the food. You got the quite the arm for throwing things, haven't you, Heart? Might I suggest you take Clever's favorite foods and throw them at the Pokemon? Makes sense. Yes, it's all coming together. We can use our skill in Pokeball crafting to shape Clever's beloved foods into balls, then throw them into throw them to achieve the same calming effect, but from afar. A brilliant idea, if I do say so myself. As for what to call these yummy projectiles? Well, how about tea time balls? Put one in mind uh, of a relaxing afternoon tea, does it not? Are you sure, Professor? They're not your own, they're your own invention. Why not call them Leventon balls? Oh my, with that name, it sounds like I'm the one being launched at our fancy friend. <laughs> in any case, we can rely on the Pearl Clan to gather the necessary food stuff, correct? Then you should hurry back to the Grand Tree Arena and tell the Pearl Clan about our brilliant plan. If you're off to Grand Tree Arena, best set out from Heights Camp, okay? Teach me. Might as well get some more room. Maybe later. I mean, it's not like I need spoiled, uh, well, they might be useful, but I don't need spoiled. Um. Let's see. Oh, I have a new request. Okay. Let's go do that. Let's go take a look at that new request. I can't get a good night's sleep like this. Don't scare me like that. Something wrong? No, no, everything's fine. Whatever you need, come back later, alright? What's the matter? Uh, maybe so a survey corpse type, like you could figure out what's causing this. Look, when I'm in my quarters trying to sleep at night, it feels like... It feels like I'm not alone in there. Sometimes there's this kind of crackling noise. I found burnt berries a couple times. Once in a while, I hear something clatter. So survey corpse kid, go survey my quarters and figure out what's happening. Okay. Strange happenings at midnight. Just do it at night, would you? I gotta be at work during the day. Well, it's nighttime. Might as well do it now. Yes. I swear there's something in there. Check every nook and cranny, okay? Will do. Investigate. Okay. Uniforms. The closed door is open just a crack. Do you want to peek inside? Take a peek. There's some weird clothing and a cape inside. Interesting. The window are the sliding windows are slightly ajar as if they were recently moved. Interesting, okay. The faint smell, it seems like berries have been present here. There was a noise from the entryway. You heard something from underneath the cloth. Draw it back. What is it? <gasps> you see sparks fly for a moment. It seems like something ran by you. All right. 
right. Is that a Pikachu? <gasps> it's a Pichu! Survey Corpse Kid, are you alright? I hear this strange noise. Wait a minute, this Pichu, could it be? It might sound absurd, but I think this might be a Pichu I found injured in the forest a while back. Oh, a berry for me. What, because I fixed you up? Wait, so the thing haunting my quarters was just a grateful little Pichu? Guess all that worrying was pointless to think. I was afraid it was some spine chilling thing. Regardless, I owe you. Have a token of my gratitude. A nab berry. Cool. Guess all that worrying was pointless to think I was afraid... Oh. Cool. That's not what I was expecting. I was actually expecting a fire-type Pokemon. Okay. Let's see... Here we go. Um, I want to do that one. Okay, I haven't done that one yet. Okay. Where is that one? Um... So it's in here somewhere. Okay, so I gotta go to the front gate. No, don't do that. I figured we could do at least a little bit of these requests. Caught three different species of Pokemon in your trial. That's no mean feat. I have a job that's perfect for a high achiever like you. See, I need help researching. Ah, it's those pesky Badoof again. I look for away for one second, and the little scoundrels walks right into the village. Oh, this is awful. I'm a complete failure as a member of the security corps. How can I face Captain Zitsu like this? No, get a hold of yourself, Sumugi. Just catch the Badoof and everything will be fine. But still, three Badoof is a lot. Two more than I would like to. I, I think I can handle on my own, in fact. Oh, I have an idea. I've heard that those particular pests can easily distract if another Badoof is nearby and end up letting their guard down around humans. So if you bring a Badoof to draw their attention, I can seize the chance to catch the little troublemakers. Voila! The perfect plan. We combine forces, we'll be get all three caught in no time at all. Okay, so. Alright. Let's go find these Badoof. Where, oh where, oh where could they be? I hear there is some far off regions. People challenge each other to battles using the Pokemon they've caught. There's one over there? Chomp chomp. Caught it! Great 
keep going, team. All right, that's one. Okay, where is number two? Instead of the Squirtle Squad, are we gonna get the Bidoof Squad? All right, um... Aha! Chomp chomp. Caught it! Great going, team! Alright, let's find this last one. A little bit of come out, come out, wherever you are! Where is it? There you are. <clears throat> chomp, chomp. Caught it. Great going, team. That'd be all three. Nice work! That puts all the little troublemakers safely in our custody. Now to give them the old Hevo. Hold on! It'd be a shame just to send those Bidoof back into the wild, no? My construction corpse could you find a use for them. Hmm? You want to keep them? But these naughty nibblers have caused so much trouble for the construction corpse. They're just Pokemon being Pokemon. How they're supposed to know our village is a strict no-true zone. Show go shows good taste on their part to come all of the way here to gnaw on our woodwork, too. But if they're going to stay here, they'll have to help out with our work. They've got the guts to keep trying to get into our the village, plus the teeth to gnash through trees and rocks. Just what our corpse needs. How about it, little ones? Meals taste better after a day's work, you know. <coughs> oh, they're so cute. That's just what I wanted to hear. Hmm, I'm not convinced this lot have it in them to do an honest day's work, but if San Kua wa is watching over them, I'm sure it'll work out all right. So I guess that's settled. Thanks again for your help. Oh, <laughs> my, my, the Galaxy Hall is one fine building, even from the outside. The Galaxy team certainly has got themselves a grand headquarters. I'll give them that. Oh, yes, I came because I had some news that I thought might be interested in. Better. You actually see what's going on, though. Let's head to, what did you, what did you end up calling it? The Heights Camp? I'm waiting for Tybalt to get done. Once we're done, then I'll end stream. So I've actually done stream for before him, which is shocking. So I'm, I'm enjoying this enough that I'm willing to uh, keep playing until he's done. I spoke to Wei Deer about what's going on. I told him how you've been trekking all over the field lands, seeking a way to quell Clever's, Clever's frenzy. All this from someone who's not even part of our own, our, our clan or the Pearl Clan. Just some wanderer who fell through the rift into this world. And hearing that, well, you can see how he responded. I trust you, appreciate it. Why dears found you worthy, you see, which means you need a flute like we have. Mind demonstrating for her, my. This is very important, so listen well. Rare. 
That's the Celestica flute that Mai just played. It's a precious tool that can be used to, po to call upon Wydeer so you can ride upon him. It is said that the Celestica's flutes were gifts from Almighty Sinnoh itself, and now this, I this one's yours. Cool. It's not that grand a gesture, really. I can't play the flute for the life of me. See if you play the- see if you can play that medley. Why dear opened his heart and learned well the sound of your playing. You received the mind plate from Wydeer. Mind plate. A stone imbued with the essence of psychic energy. When used on a certain Pokemon, it allows that Pokemon to gain the strength of the psychic type. Hmm, I wonder what Pokemon it is. Now use that Celestica flute wisely and gallop across the land with the great Wydeer. You've got a frenzy Pokemon to quell at the Grand Tree Arena, haven't you? With Wydeer, you can gallop across the field lands in no time. You can ca now call Y Deer and gallop across the land. Okay. Okay. Well, ooh, I got a request. Nice to meet you, young Surveys Corpse recruit. I heard you have the rare ability to dash over a hill and veil on the back of a Pokemon, yes? Well, why not try your hand at a balloon race? It's a game I invented myself. It's simple, really. You just need to burst as many of my adorable balloons as possible while riding a Pokemon. If you manage to say burst 17, well, that'd be an impressive start. You can find me here at any time. Oh, I hate these type of quests. I hate these ones specifically, because I'm never good at them. Well, I'm not going to do it right now. But, yes. Hey, Badoof is finished. Cool. Bidoof has an unsophisticated face. It rarely flustered by anything. There have been incidents involving Bidoof sauntering into villages and gnawing on the houses without a single care. So what would you like to do now? Um, Continue my excursion. But we are going to do that. Not that. This. I'm going to save. Oh. I can evolve you! Do it! Let's evolve! That was intense! Okay, I've never seen evolution be that intense! Starling! They live in the fields and mountains, gathering in large flocks. Their cries are quite obnoxious. Though small, their wings are strong. A strike from them leaves pain that persists for a week. Shut up, phone. So what would you like to do now? Continue. Okay. Well, we got our first evolution. That was kind of cool. Let's save our progress. And I guess we'll not ha not sh shrinky dinky, but I guess we'll. Oh right. Um. There we go. Okay. Let's see what kind of Pokemon we can find. I already have a. Do I have a Zubat? Hmm. <gasps> A Stantler. Huh? 
Get wrecked! Yes, I'm fine with that. Okay. Stantler, cool. Okay. I'll take one of these, though. Oh. Let's go with the Monferno. There we go. Yes. I do want that though. Okay. Um What can I do? Okay. Wait. Can Shinx evolve? <gasps> you can evolve. Let's do it. Two evolutions in a stream? I'm sorry, the evolution's intense. Let's see what we got nearby. Another Stantler. Okay, let's see what we got. Cop one, I need to defeat. Psy Shield Bass. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh. All right, let me just do this and we will I will end stream. Ha, get frozen. Or get frostbite, I guess. Well, bye. Okay, so Um, no. Let's go to this one. Yes. Alright. But Tybalt is in uh, story and so, or popped in, so we're gonna finish this up and then... Yes. I should be able to level up. Hey, we finished Shinx. Cool. 
Haven't leveled up yet. Uh, continue. Alright, so. Let's, uh... Save! And we're gonna go find someone to raid. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, today's stream. It was a lot of fun. Again, I won't be... Or, just a reminder, I won't be live tomorrow, but we will be back Monday with some new Pokemon. Um... I think we're going... You know what? He... Or Elven Sorrow has been raiding us. We're gonna go raid Elven Sorrow. Show some support over there. And all that fun stuff. So, raid Elven Sorrow. Make sure I spelled that correctly. Yes, I did. Playing some, uh... Final Fantasy, uh... 14... Or Final Fantasy 4. So some free Enterprise. Uh, yeah. All that, don't, don't activate... Mubot, come on. But if you want to press, uh, put this in the chat, feel free. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys Monday. Have a good one. Bye!